Eddie Long, a Baptist and famed televangelist in his area of Atlanta, Georgia. In 2004, he led a march to Dr. Martin Luther King's grave in the name of defining marriage as between man and woman. He has also been quoted as saying that his church can deliver people from homosexuality. He is currently being sued by four young men, ages 20, 21, 23, and 22, for using his fame and influence to coerce them into sexual relationships. relationships lasted for extended periods of time. <laughs> that is so funny. During the course of the boys' late teens, the age of consent in Georgia is a whopping 16. So it is legal, but is it still wrong of him to use his power to get the boys to do sexual favors for him? The pastor took them on lavish trips, influenced the boys to take place in such places as Kenya, pay for their hotel rooms with lavish gifts, such as cars, cash, jewelry, in exchange for mutual masturbation, oral sex, and sensual massaging. You nasty frog. On my little list today, we also have, for my number two, we have Troy King. This amazing entry starring Alabama Attorney General Troy King plays itself out in beautiful symmetry. Known for his vocal opposition to gay rights and for his attempt to outlaw sex toys, King was caught by his wife while having sex with a local homecoming king <laughs> from what it is, Troy University. Someone get the mascot over here and have it do a little dance for us, for little Troy, since his wife caught him. Isn't that hot? <laughs> My number three on the list is the infamous Bruce Barquet. The Republican commissioner of Cumberland County, Pennsylvania, is practically the gay porn star of politics due to all allegations of raping a 20-year-old male named Marshall Police McCurdy. obtained a warrant to search Barclay's home on March of March 31st. They didn't find any evidence of rape, but however, instead, they found videotapes of hundreds of sexual encounters with men that Barclay filmed on high-tech surveillance cameras. It was apparent that Barclay and McCurdy had consensual sex. It was also apparent that his personal that his personal Republican stance was not as right-winged as he had led people to believe. Now on to little David. David, David, David is a Republican member of the U.S. House of Representatives who was who has voted against gay marriages and rights and gay legal rights and gay adoption rights and was part of an organization called Californians for Bush in 2004. How surprising is that? He's been accused of having sex with members of his staff and also paying them a very high salary, which happened to be of the male persuasion. Hypocritically, as always, he has since denied any mentions of homosexual homosexuality together. When he almost became the majority leader of the House in 2005, he was denied the position by most of his right-wing Republican friends because they said his views were far, far, far too moderate. Hmm, I wonder why. The next one on my list is Red-Handed George. Red-Handed George Wreckers belongs at the top of the list. George Reck is a man who helped start one of the most powerful anti-gay lobbying groups in the U.S. during the 80s and has written published papers such as Growing Up Straight, What Families Should Know About Homosexuality, had a recent surgery, so during a lecture tour, and was unable to lift his own luggage, so he hired some help. Hmm, I wonder what kind, which is perfectly the reasonable. Where did he go to get some help? Rentboy.com. Yes, he did. He found a young, ripped, hairless, vampire lookalike adult young boy named Lucian pictured right there to his left, who was brought on his trip to lift his luggage. Hmm. Rikers deny having sexual relations with Lucian and even knowing that he was a gay male prostitute. Hmm. There is no way 
to stumble, stumble upon a profile on rentboy.com as they are all private. Hmm. Ha ha ha. So also, Lucian's profile does state that he has a tight ass and perfectly thick 8-inch cock, which is uncut. His profile also said that he'd be up for doing anything that was worth getting paid for. Hmm. So that's spilling all of his tea. Thank you, Curious George. Next on my list is Glenn Murphy Jr. Mmm, little bitty Glenn, former head of the U, the Young Republicans and one of the former leading Republicans of Indiana, always advocated straight family values and straightforward sexual orientation views. He was caught finally the second time he did it, performing, um, we'll just say, another young Republican while that man slept. He was later jailed in 2008 and as of March of 2010 has been forced to register as a sex offender. Glenn, you have to be more careful. Oh, little Jim West, Spokane Mayor Jim West has worked really hard to against gay rights in his community. <clears throat> He supported a bill to ban gays and lesbians from working in schools, daycare centers, and some state agencies, as well as a bill that bars the state from distributing pamphlets informing people how to protect themselves against HIV AIDS. He proposed that any touching of sexual or other intimate parts of a person among teens be considered a criminal act. Hmm, let's go further. However, for 25 years, Wes was having sexual relationships with boys and young men from his community and was before he was caught frequenting a very incognito website just to show you his ninja skills on gay.com all under the covers of course he even offered to find boys he'd befriended jobs with the city of Spokane in exchange for sex here's your handcuffs Jim and thanks Good, good evening, Mr. Ashburn, California State Senator who has always voted against gay right bills. You should have stayed in for the night. But instead, he chose to drive drunk and picked up an unidentified man and was arrested for DUI. <laughs> he could have accidentally outed himself by just staying in in such a grand way. Despite his classy act reveal, the point in this he left the gay bar with an unidentified man. Since then, Ashburn has admitted that he's gay to current radio host Inga Barks, but that his voting record reflects his responsibility to his constituents. How interesting. Step forward, Mr. Richard Curtis, Mr. Washington State Representative, who has an anti-gay voting record, he voted against domestic partnerships for gays and opposed a bill prohibiting discrimination based on sexual orientation. Oh, really now? Well, it wasn't long before Mr. Mega Compensation resigned from the White House due to reports that he had a sexual encounter with a male escort. You know, it being public and all, the reputed male, the male prostitute named Cody Castagna, with whom he was coverting, told police that Curtis offered him $1,000 to have sex with him and that Curtis purchased two gay pornographic films from the hotel for both of them to watch in the room while they were having sex. Definitely last on my list is the infamous televangelist Ted Haggard. Known as Pastor Ted to his congregation at New Life Church in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Ted Haggard was outed by a prostitute and professional masseur named Mike Jones, Mike Jones, Mike Jones, in November 2006, but for paying him to engage in sex with him for three years. He was also purchasing, then using crystal meth, crystal meth, for all the kids out there, with his 
pay for play partner. Haggard has supported Colorado Amendment 43, which bans same-sex marriages in the state. In his own words, he's not a homosexual. He's just a heterosexual with issues. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mrs. Ted.